Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, Mallory. Aureli. I'm Daniel. I'm Amber. Colin. Emily. Uh, Sacha. <laughs> <laughs> and we're group five. We're going to be discussing today the idea that internet is a basic right for the rest of the world. Now, we're going to start off with Sasha, of course, on the very end, with her opinion. Sasha, what do you believe? Okay, I think that it should be a human right, not now, but in the future, because right now we have, we have other concerns, but in the future, I think that we'll rely heavily on the internet, and that to survive, everyone will need it. So. I kind of agree with that point. It's really an interesting idea of like how binded we are to technology right now, and how far we've progressed. It's, it's important to actually get everyone on there, because... A wonderful medium. I also feel that with our expanding job market, like a lot of the skills that you need today to succeed all are focused around technology. So while I have to disagree with it being in the future, and I must say that we should start like integrating it as like along with the like clean water bills and all this other stuff for developing nations, um, because they are going to need that alongside other human. It should be a basic human right, and they're going to need it alongside other basic human rights. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of want to counter that point and say that I feel like right now with, like, kind of like the state of the economy and everything, like, if we were to look at it realistically, I think that it might cost too much as of right now, but I think in the future, once we sort everything else out, I think that it could be, defi like, a definite possibility, at least to connect most places, if not all. And if you think about, like, how it was first created, it was created to, like, let other people, like, share and connect ideas and for, like, everyone in the world, like, who has access to, like, use it. So I just think that that's a reason why it should be, like, a basic right. Like, if everybody has the resources, hopefully one day, then everyone should be able to access it freely. Yeah. I agree. Um, I think, like they said, um, there are bigger needs right now other than everybody having the latest technology. Um, I did go to a talk earlier today about um, the crowdfunding, the crowdfunding one, and they were talking about how in other countries they actually are online a lot, um, even in the smaller cities in Mexico and Africa, everyone seems to be on Facebook. Like even if there's only one computer within like ten people, everyone's always like, "Oh, let me borrow the computer and do Facebook or whatever." So they do have. Minimal access, which is fine, and so I think that's good enough for now. Um, but once their other needs are taken care of, I think we can go further. Yeah, like maybe in the future having, like, everyone having an email and be able to, like, maybe have, like, bank statements. Like, yeah. Facebook is one thing, but, like, <clears throat> connecting your whole life to the Internet. So, like, a lot of people don't have access to that, but... Well, what we saw the other day in one of our lectures was that in Kenya, they use, instead of carrying cash around, they use a lot of, like online uh, sites to manage yeah. their money and trade it. So I feel like it's not just helpful for like advancing in the workforce, but also with like managing your finances and like kind of like being able to accumulate money and invest. Like business. And yeah, so it could be helpful for like if they have access to those skills and if technology is free for everyone, then they can grow at a greater rate. Yeah, I kind of see the interest thing. The interesting thing about this is that everything's being integrated with technology, like our credit cards, our little bank statements. Everything is pretty much connected. Even our cars are going to be connected. It's really interesting to see how it's going and how it's going to be so necessary in the future. I think that well, there's a lot of countries like that are developing and stuff, and if they want to have the access, I think they should, but. I don't feel like it should be forced because there's a lot of like still civilizations and tribes and that they're doing perfectly fine like they don't want this. So I feel like everyone if they want access, yeah, they should get it. I'm not opposed to it, but we shouldn't try to be like, "Oh, you should open this computer." I don't want to be like the colonizing mentality. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah, like forcing that like yeah. as a human right on them. That's mm -hmm. not something that they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like they should have the access to it, but I also agree like indigenous communities that are really like strongly tied to their culture, I don't think that they should be forced to have to use anything, but it would be nice if they wanted to, yeah. to have that opportunity. Yeah, well. everything, everyone needs an opportunity, like, but if you don't want to actually grasp onto that, then we don't want to be forcing anyone, like it's not, it's their, not our choice, it's their choice, so yeah.
Yeah, well, piggybacking off of that, I originally thought that I don't, I didn't think it should be a human right, but like just listening to this discussion, I now think that it should be, and just based on the idea that everybody should have access to education and should have access to information to better their lives. So I feel like in a lot of developing places where, um, I don't know, people's rights between like men and women or anyone like that, they're not exactly equal, and so by providing them that chance to get online and the internet and see what else is going on in the world, they can see what they deserve and they can have access to education if they can't afford it, but they're still it's still available to them. So now I think that it should be a human right, not not just yeah. in the future, but now as we're progressing towards getting free Wi Fi to a lot of places around the world. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like a public commodity, like yeah. roads someone, or anything. Really someone important. in class said like it, the internet should be like a library for everyone, where you mm -hmm. can, because like everyone can have access to a library. They are welcome to go in and check out a book, or just even sit there and open a book. Mm -hmm. I feel like that should be the internet in itself is a library, so it should be approached with the same mentality. Um, and I guess like technology, like handheld technology and like a phone or a computer might not necessarily be a human right, but the access to like libraries or like free Wi-Fi and cafes and stuff like that, especially in developing countries, is extremely important for that like for them library. To develop. Yeah, for, yeah. For them to for, develop and for the people to become educated in yeah. their own way and yeah. at a pace that they're happy with. Mm -hmm. Well guys, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Alright, so final <laughs> thoughts. What what do we all agree on? Like, what, what do you guys all believe, like, 100%? Like, what's your stance? Eventually, it should be human right, and that, I mean, for other, even for developing countries, it could be hugely useful, just as far as education and spreading knowledge. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Yes. I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree now. Yeah. Definitely in the future, but right now. Yeah, maybe. Let's solve world hunger. Yeah. Let's solve yeah. first thing. Yeah. First priority. <laughs> Yeah, let's do both. <laughs> That's good. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. That's good five. Thank you. Bye. Bye.